How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and men and women, and people? I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller by name, and I have my glasses to better to see you with and buy. Our last engagement was on the beautiful behavior of a bob on a string. And I said, let us set up an arrangement where we have one 10 centimeters long, one 40 centimeters long, and one 90 centimeters long. And I hope at once that those of you who have some mathematical spirit would detect the significance of these numbers. 10, 40, 90. But if you don't, I shall reveal it in due course. Then I said we would count 20 oscillations of the one. We shall do that several times and get an average and write it down. Then 20 oscillations of another. Nothing sacred, you understand, about 20 oscillations. We could count 72 oscillations or 11 or scumpty 2 Right. And 20 oscillations of this one. And write it down. 20 oscillations. If I did 20 oscillations in my home place, it would be uh, certain numbers which are right. And if we did it in this castle with heavy stone walls and gravitation a little different, it might be slightly different, but the relationship of the numbers would be unaltered. And in my place, the numbers would be as follows. Watch it, because they are beautiful to contemplate. 20 oscillations of this one would be 13 seconds. 20 oscillations of that one would be 26 seconds. And now I hope those of you who are mathematicians already and who are appointed in an earlier program to the order of Pythagoras, because you are good mathematicians, would already see at once, instantaneously, that 20 oscillations of this one should be 39 seconds. Ah, there is lying here, no longer hidden, some beautiful stuff. These numbers are in the ratio of 1 to 4 to 9. These numbers are in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. And so you see that one is the square root of one, two is the square root of four, and three is the square root of nine. And whatever we'd get here for another would be the square root of that, and so on. And so, let me walk over here and write on the blackboard the truth that emerges from this discovery, that the period of the simple pendulum, the time for one oscillation or for 20, is proportional to the square root of the length. Now those of you who will study physics or have a little have already encountered in a textbook and in the student teacher's lectures that the period of a simple pendulum is to a close approximation 2 pi times the square root of L over G and there I have what I told you already but much more prettily arrived at. Beautiful thing, beautiful. And I am reminded of Tycho Brahe, the Danish astronomer, and Kepler, the German. Imagine, Tycho Brahe spent 30 years studying the heavens and writing tens of thousands of pages of notes with which he could do nothing because he was a very good observer but a very poor mathematician. And fortunately, there fell into confluence with him the German astronomer Johannes Kepler, who spent 26 years reading the detailed numbers and arrived at the mechanism of the planets. Now, we haven't done anything on such grandiose a scale, but it is still a beautiful thing to contemplate. Extraordinarily so, and you must not regard it as trivial. I think this motion is enchanting to witness, and you should too. I shall see you another day.